Hi guys, my name is Alan Newberry and today I'm going to kind of talk about where I'm at right now as I try to get ready for the Arkansas show which is now about four days away. Um, basically before any knife show it seems whatever can go crazy does go crazy. In my case I'm a stay-at-home dad slash knife maker so that means that my work days are kind of precious and few and far between. Otherwise it's you know trying to find a few hours here and there maybe at the end of the day or on the weekends to try to make these knives and in my case people have been sick left and right uh, snow cancellation so today was supposed to be my big work day to try to get everything done and of course there was a snow day and so I I was watching kids instead of actually working on knives so I'm about to start working on knives again but I figured I'd give you guys a little bit of uh, show and tell of what I've got going on for the Arkansas show and tell you a little bit about the Arkansas show So why don't I go ahead and start by showing you a few of the things that I've got for it and tell you a little bit about how my week's going um, Here towards the end of this past week. I got some knives out to uh, my friend Butch Hagedorn who makes really nice leather sheets uh, He makes them for several makers um, really high quality and generally a pretty quick turnaround as well. Uh, this is one of my big camp cutlasses that I'm gonna have there. It's got a nice Simone. And uh, I decided this time that I would make three matching knives, so kind of a set. I'm not necessarily selling them as a set, but if the first guy comes up and doesn't just buy one of them, you know, buys all three, then you have three that kind of match. So I've got a big camp cutlass in ironwood and with a Hamon, all in 1095 steel, and they're not done yet. So here you see that they've got the rough shape done, but they don't have the actual final finish on them. I just got them shaped enough so that I could get them to get the sheets done. So you've got the big guy, the big camp cutlass, the camp cutlass, also in ironwood, and the pocket cutlass in ironwood. So I just thought it'd be fun this time. I don't think I've ever had all three in the same handle material before. So I just thought it'd be fun to have all three matching. Um, also, I'm going to have an EDC in Blackwood with Hamon as well. Another sheath by Butch. Speaking of Butch, I took a little uh, video clip that I'll show you now of him at his shop so you can see who's this Butch guy uh, you've been hearing about. Alright, so that's Butch. Uh, he's, a, he's a fun guy. He likes shooting the uh, Sharps rifles and uh, he, he's into the wheel guns, so things like that. So he's, he's, a, he's a fun guy to talk to. That's one of the, the more fun things. I like to go out there and I can't just schedule like dropping it off because inevitably I end up hanging out there for like at least 30 minutes or so talking to him about uh, cool things. Um, anyway, so then I guess the next thing I'll tell you about is the Arkansas show, the Arkansas Knife Show. It's kind of gone through a few different iterations over the past couple years. Um, it, it is now going from last year we had a two-day show. This year it's going to be a one-day show and they're bringing back the banquet the night before and they're doing a cutting competition the day before at the historic Arkansas Museum which is a really cool museum with a great knife exhibit. So I definitely recommend going there the day before if you can to get down to the museum. They're also having a book signing at the museum for the, uh, the Bowie knife book that I was talking about a couple episodes ago. So I would definitely recommend going there to get your copy of Assure Defense and get it signed there and then check out the ABS's exhibit there, which uh, a little a side note, I don't know if they've got the knife in there yet, but they are about to put one of my knives in there in that exhibit. So I'm pretty excited about that because I haven't had a knife there. And no matter where they put it in the exhibit, it's going to be next to some great Smiths. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I've been looking at the knives there and getting inspiration from them for years. Um, so I definitely recommend going to the cutting competition the day before on Friday 
and then they also have a banquet on set on Friday night but you also have to get tickets ahead of time for that and then it's now a one-day show so Saturday is the big day for the show so get there and get knives from uh, a lot of talented Smiths from across the country um, also I guess I have one other interesting thing that I'm going to be bringing along it isn't yet done but it's close enough to being done that I'm pretty sure it's going to get done. I certainly hope so. But anyway, here we have a spear. Um, I still need to do the after heat, post heat treat grinding on this and etch the hamon, that sort of thing. It's not actually attached to the pole yet, but here's the pole. Um, so that's kind of a, a fun thing to have since I did the boar spear episode of Forged in Fire. And now some of the second place people are having the ability to bring their actual as used on TV weapons. I thought I would make something kind of similar. It's not exactly the boar spear, but it's a spear. So I, this is actually the, the spear that I was working on the previous videos. So it shouldn't be too long till I have the final video up showing how the spear gets finished out. So be looking forward to that because it should be about done. Hopefully here in the next four days I'm going to get this thing done and then probably in the next week or so get that video edited. So thanks a lot for watching and have a nice day. If you end up liking this video be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.